I'm Cecilia, a strategist at Part and Sum. We are a digitally native strategy firm. We like to both onto our clients' teams to uncover and action growth opportunities. We're particularly known for workshops and sprint innovations. So with that in mind, today I'm gonna to talk about dot voting for virtual slash remote workshops. Back in the day, when we could actually workshop in a room full of people, dot voting was one of my favorite activities for making decisions. Why dot voting, you might ask? Uh, one, it's the easiest, most simple way to get a group of people to choose the best direction to go. Two, people get up, they move around, energy boosts. Three, it's a commitment. Instead of just saying which ones they liked, they get up, they walk to a board, and they make a choice, right? You may think I'm pushing it here, but you know, a, a full body decision is a thing. They got up, they voted with their bodies. So it, it works for it, it works for so many things. So it's basically like you need to pick a favorite, give people two green dots to stick on top of their favorites. Do you need to vote out ideas, reject some ideas, give people two red dots? Do you need a Hail Mary? You still have too many favorites and no clear winner, or you want to give leadership a bigger vote? Maybe give everyone one yellow star. But in these times that we can't all be together in a room with a bunch of ideas on a wall, whiteboard, etc., we can't get up and go vote. So what do we do now? For only $9.99, I am going to introduce a revolutionary approach. <gasps> Google Slides. I'm obviously joking. We're not selling a magic formula or a revolutionary tool. We're just reminding you that a simple tool like, like Google Slides can go a long way, and it's free. Also, this is not an end. Option eight, you can do dot voting for virtual or remote workshops on a single slide. So let's say you are on a session that you need to do a live brainstorm. Just open a Google slide, put in, a, the, capture the live brainstorm, just type everything there, and then as soon as people, or, Another idea is you can preload ideas too. If it's not live, if it's not something that's happening right there, if you have to present some creative work or if you did some strategy work beforehand that you need the client to choose, you can preload ideas, right? You can have option one, option two, option three, option four. So what you do is, and I'm going to go back to my take it out of presentation mode, but what you do is you can Create this slide, right, preloaded, or even the empty one, but you can already have some green stickers on the side for people to pick their favorite idea or the idea that best, best fits that criteria that's being discussed there, right? So you already, you think of the participants on the workshop and then you create the dots and leave it on the side for, for them to just come on the day of the workshop, they're gonna come and say, oh, I love this one, or, I love this one. And in the case that they're not a group of people that's super comfortable with Google Slides, they can they can tell the facilitator to go ahead and move for them. So they could say, oh, hi, can could you move my vote to down? Right? So it works really well. You can also do the same thing for rejected ideas. You can have preloaded red dots and the same dynamic happens. Either they go ahead, find their name, oh, I'm an audit, okay, I'm gonna move it here, or they can ask you to move for them. And like I said, if you don't have a clear winner, right, or if leadership needs to help pick and their vote ways too, you can also create some stars and have them come up, get their name, and drag it right here. Super easy, right? Option two, you can have multi-slide, right? So what happens is you can have people, you can create this one slide where you kind of, it's almost like the the sticker sheet, right? Uh, here are the, 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 the dots for favorite. Here are the dots for, you know, not so favorites. Let's not call them rejects. And here's the the, the stickers for leadership, right? So after that, you have, you list the ideas, right? And this could either be something that you preloaded before that you had to work with again, or let's say you're in a workshop with a bunch of creative people 
everyone went in there, put, pitched some ideas, each different person worked on a slide, you can do that too. So let's say you have idea one, idea two, idea three, and idea four. I don't know what that would be. And also, all these images are Disney, and they're just for illustrative purposes. Please don't sue me. Um, so, you know, you can have everyone go and say, you know, go ahead at your own pace, read the ideas that follow that are following up, go back to that one slide, pick a dot, and drag it to the slide that has the best idea that fits the criteria or it's your favorite or something of that sort. So they're going to cut the sticker out of here and put it here. Super easy, right? And if by any chance, it works best with a more tech savvy group of people, but if not, they can also go and say, hi, moderator, facilitator, I really liked option number three. Can you get my, my sticker and put it there for me? So that works too. You can also decide, let's say you created different versions of ideas for the same thing, right? You can also have things on one slide, idea A, idea B, and you give a selected number of votes to each participant, and they go and drag and copy the, the sticker to the idea that they prefer. And you can do this multiple times, right? Based on different criteria, different ideas, different options that you're giving them. And best of all, it doesn't need to be a red dot. It doesn't need to be a green dot. It doesn't need to be a star. It can be a train. It can be people. It can be whatever you want. As long as you create some form of sticker version for someone to input their vote and preferences. So that is it. Super easy, right? Um, so we, we're working on a bunch of Loom videos for different purposes for workshop, for marketing related things. So make sure that you follow the part and some blog, part and slash blog. Or if that is wrong for some reason, just Google part and some and find our blog. <laughs> you can also follow us on LinkedIn and follow our articles and see what else we've been cooking up here. Uh, and that's it. Um, thank you so much. I hope you had fun. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, just send an email to hello at partinsome.com. Thank you. Bye.